Hi everyone, in this video I'd like to talk about planar graphs and do two examples. So first of all, let's talk about what is a planar graph. So a planar graph is a graph that can be drawn in the plane, basically. So um, this is a graph that can be drawn so that no edges cross. So if we want to test if a graph is planar or not, one way of doing that is just to try and redraw the graph. Now this is not the only tool. There are some um, inequalities and there's um, uh, an equation that we must satisfy as well. I'm not going to get into that in this video. I just want to show you how you could redraw some of these graphs and also show you that sometimes it's not so intuitive to redraw them. And so it is very motivating to go in and look at some of the properties between edges and faces and vertices um, because that can give us a more definitive answer. Okay, so let's take a look at example one. And this is actually the complete graph on four vertices. So let me make a note of this. This is the complete graph and this is otherwise known as K4. Let me put the four down here as a subscript so that we have the proper notation on that. So a uh, reminder that a complete graph is one where each vertex is connected to everybody else. So A is connected to B, C, and D. And similarly, vertex B is connected to A and D and C. Um, so that's what we mean by a complete graph. Now, if we wanted to try to draw this as a planar graph, I need to put down all my vertices, A, B, C, and D. So there's A, B, C, and D. Let me label them. Because if I start moving the edges around, uh, that's fine, but I still need to rem remember that the same uh, vertices need to be connected. All right, so A to B, that looks good. I'm going to redraw that edge right there. And B to C is fine. So far, no edge crossing, so I'm, I'm happy about that. And similarly, C to D and A to D. Now the question becomes, what about this edge that's down from A to C? So one way to do that is to go A to C, but draw that in a way so that it doesn't cross any other edges. And then similarly down here for the edge that went B to D, and we can put that right in the middle. So there is a drawing. The same vertices are connected, so it's really the same graph. I just drew it in a way that is uh, showing the planarity of that graph. Okay, let's go over here and take a look at example two. So in example two, um, pretty much everything looks good except this edge J to H. So if somehow we could redraw that edge way out and around, uh, that would fix the planarity here. So let me see if I can do that without redrawing the graph because this one's a bit bigger with all our, our vertices here. So I want to get rid of this edge here. J that connects down to H. And if I get rid of that edge, I need to redraw it, so let's put it in a different color. I need to redraw that edge, J to H, in a way that goes out and around. And that looks pretty good. That shows the planarity in example two, but sometimes how to do this is not obvious. Um, so I encourage you to look in your text, in your discrete math textbook for some of the bounds um, between edges and faces and the number of vertices to help you determine if a graph is planar or not.